This video is brought to you by Gunplay SA, South Africa's favorite place for gunpla, related tools, supplies, resources, community, and so much more. Check out gunplaysa.com. <laughs> Oh, this is like Welcome. a horror movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the dark. <laughs> to the dark place. No, what happened to the light for? <laughs> Dude, uh, we, you know, we can... Says, thank you, apparently yes, there's substations or something that have gone down and yeah, mm. there isn't enough reserve lighting. So we're shooting this one in the dark. We've got some creepy stories. So it's the, either creepy or romantic. Shipment, yeah. Where, where's our stock? Where's our stock? It's, all <laughs> <laughs> it's, either, it's either creepy or romantic. So you can play <laughs> however you want. So let's start off with some easy things quickly. Firstly, mm. hello, Bolt Force. Yay. How's it, guys? Yay. I'm so sorry that Jeff is not in front of the camera today. Because mm -hmm. um, our, our cameraman, he... Uh, lost an arm in combat and it's being redone and it's just a whole thing so while he's getting his chrome done jeff's gonna be behind the camera so as usual as usual <laughs> but uh we got the last three remaining boxes of our lost um supply hmm. of our lost stock supply so check this out okay so we've got a whole bunch of um entry grades yeah so let's enter the in video with some entry, entry grades so entry. Check them out the way so yeah it's yeah. decent uh, amount it is a decent Ooh. amount. Jeff, am I going crazy? I'm mm -hmm. pretty sure that they were entry grades with the weapons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Why am I not seeing it? <laughs> oh, there it is. Thank you. Thank you, man. <laughs> yeah, so there we go. So we got the entry grades with the full yeah, weapon full set weapon for RX-78. Guys, one day, I've got to build one of these one day. I swear, I've got to do <laughs> it. But, uh, yeah, not today. Um, anyways, we got those in. But now yeah. something about this, draw, uh, this um, shipment that I'm super, super excited about. Like really excited about non-Gundam stuff. Non-Gundam stuff. Ooh. I love Gundam stuff, but <laughs> non-Gundam is cool. So we got some juggernauts. Yay! From, I still need to watch this anime. Yeah, from eight six uh, or eighty six. Have you built your one? I haven't yet. Okay. I, I keep meaning to, and then I just don't get around to it. Maybe I should do mm. it as a build stream. Yeah, because I'm quite uh, like curious about these. Yeah, so these are very very cool. Le like the detail is amazing, and the figurine they give you is actually mm. kind of big. So pretty rad. I'm gonna open the box quickly. Uh, um, yeah. th this one's got a yeah. This one's got one of those little slippy, slippy things. <laughs> okay. okay, hopefully the lighting is not too crazy here. Yeah, I'll just angle it so there's no glare. Yes. Yeah, so. so this is a super highly detailed kit. See what I mean about the figure? Yeah. Pretty big, eh? Yeah. Well, this this scale is what one two forty eight, is it? Yeah, it's one forty eight scale. Yeah. And uh, it's like a bone white, right? It's like an off creamy yes. bone white. Right? Yeah, yeah. And also the little helper. And I can't think of the names of them right now. Oh, yeah. But check how big the little helper is. Sure. It's not that little. Mm. <laughs> so it's you're actually getting two kits. So it's not orange like on the box um, shows. So you do need to. You do need to paint it. Yeah. yeah. You do need to paint in the orange parts. Okay. But it's actually not like some dinky little thing. It's mm. actually it's almost like you're getting two kits and a figure kit and also the pilot, which I don't want to try and find right now, but he's in there as well. Mm. So that's rad. Um, we also got the the region life. Okay. Ooh, these guys look very spider-like. Yeah, these are... I don't want to spoil anything in the story, so I'm just going to keep myself... Yeah, like, uh, looking at these kids, it's like, yeah, maybe it's time for me to check out the anime. Though. Guys, I love this show because it reminds me a lot of, like, old-school Gundam. In the okay. sense that the stakes are quite high and it's about war and it's about the ugliness of war. Mm -hmm. But I mean, look at these pieces. Now, this is like a cold white. Mm. A cold grey white. And I mean, look at these, like, just the little studs, the detailing there. Really, really cool, hey? Mm, not sure. I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to try and put my hand behind and see if I can get some kind of contrast going. But they, take my word for it, there's like, it's studded mm. for extra uh, building excitement. So it's um, more highly detailed, like a tank model kit? Yes, very much so. That's actually like exactly all the... all and, uh, and all stuff that kind of stuff. And then hey, also... Look, it's got an action base. Yeah, it, and it needs nice. one. Yeah. <laughs> because of some of the things that this pulls off. So, yeah, I don't want to say too much about this, but this one is bigger than the Juggernaut. Why does it feel like the Attack on Titan with like, these spider things? Because <laughs> they also shoot these claw things, don't they? Oh, dude, yeah. Um, it's it's kind of sinister. Like, the whole the whole world um, set up for 86 is really, really great. And it's kind of, yeah, lots of twists, lots of fun twists. Then we got Duke Mon hey, slash back. Gallant Mon back in. And guys, Welcome. oof. I've seen, uh, like, wow, I've seen this kit, and it's it's special. It's really, really special. I want to finish my Alpha Mon before I jump into a, a Gallant Mon. And I'm not even the biggest Digimon fan. I just think these kits are so super cool. Yeah, they're really cool. well designed. 
And oh, then the, this one you're very excited about. I right? am very excited. So you love the games. Yeah, I love Super Robot Super Wars, Wars, original generation. So yeah, oh, I thought it's original gangster. Original gangster. <laughs> oh gee. So check this. He's part of Matt. Oh, it's a Matt black. Oh, that's really nice. Hmm. I really like that. The Gispens, or well, because we're in South Africa, we, most of us would say Gispens. <laughs> I noticed, it's, so it's HG, but it doesn't mean it's like a HG gun playing scale. So you can see yeah. the beam saber, these are like what you get from a scale 1 to 100 kit. Yeah. Uh, so it's like a big So these thing. are like, yeah, they, they're kind of non scale. It's weird. I, but <laughs> at the same time, they look oh, comfortable. Look, it comes look, to the stand, it another comes action base. Yeah. <laughs> That's like the biggest feature. <laughs> look at the action base. And it's got spinny, spinny effects. <laughs> Check that. Oh, so that, cool. Yeah, weapon effects. That's very cool. Yeah, dude. So uh, this is probably one of the highlights of this uh, shipment for me. I don't but stick. I don't see any sticker sheets. Uh, yeah, I don't see any sticker sheets either. Right, so we check underneath the manual. Is it all color accurate? Uh, it must be, dude. It must be, that's pretty amazing. Go Bandai on this one. Awesome, yeah, so wow. Even though like Gunther is their main thing, they still put a lot of effort into these kits. Right? Well, yeah, because I think they had to compete against Kodobukia, who did the original. Oh, yeah, because yeah, I got a Hakbine from Kod uh, I've got a Hakbine or Hakbine and the Altizen from mm -hmm. the original from Kodobukia. And they're pretty cool as well. Although they have a scale, so that's kind of odd. It's hmm. weird, I don't even... Yeah, yeah, they don't show a scale. They don't show a scale, yeah. but... Yeah, anyway, that's think, something I'm I super excited I think the next from Super Robot Wars, it's a bit harder to, to set a standardized scales because, you know, some They're all quite big SD. <laughs> yeah. Some is quite small and that kind of thing. Yeah, and then also the whole different realities and whatever. This is one of the, I think it's from the Gundam types, mm -hmm. you know, um, Gundam type robots, mm -hmm. because obviously Super Robots are like Mazinga, etc, etc. Cool. What yeah. are these, Jeff? Um, I was, I was going to have a segue, like, you know, from a model kit from a game, uh, thing to another model kit from kind of like a game because yeah. it's like an anime oh, about yeah, MMOs. Haropla. Yeah. So it's Haropla, a uh, Harofitter. Yeah, so yeah, guys, cute. Jeff's built one of these. I'm sure mm. you've seen it on his streams. Yeah. And I'm not going to lie, I'm not the biggest fan of this thing, mm -hmm. um, but I do love Haro. Mm. And, but this does look fun. I mean, like having it in front of me kind of speaks to me a little bit more than, than not having it in front of me, if you know <laughs> what I mean. Uh, yeah, just a nice uh, desk buddy. Yeah, it's a great little desk buddy. Um, I love that. Like I look at, I love how angry he looks. And then I take that backpack because I've got that backpack. That's and on the it is zero. not not uh, included. It's not included. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's cool. And then also something that's super cute, like mm. the Haro another uh, desk buddy. Yeah, is, uh, the Tomotu. It? Tomotu. Tomotu. Yeah. So these two is what's it like a cream white and a, a blue whatever. Yeah. It's, it's like uh, uh, yeah, it's like <coughs> soda or something. And then yes. So these ones, it's a collaboration between three parties now. So uh, Tomotu, I know it's designed by Moro Toys, and they collaborated with Kotobukiya to make the model kits. But they also collaborated with what's it? Modern Rhythm, whatever. That's yeah, the guys who do like. If you see this chobu, yeah. Um, if you guys have seen those, uh, what's it? Uh, Mikatro Wigo. Yeah, Mikatro Wigo. That chobu is the fictional company yes. that makes them. So this is like a collaboration with the three companies together. It's a cool display. It looks like a museum piece, mm, or like a exactly. showroom, like a car showroom. Yeah. So these color schemes are like the chobu uh, color schemes. Yeah. So this looks really, really awesome. nice. I need a bold mind that you got me. Hmm. And also one thing to note, um, I've checked out the runners for these two kits, is that oh, actually, com compared to the regular edition, you get uh, double the runners for the armor parts, so you can actually swap out your own colors. Oh, that's cool. So, yeah. Let's check that out quickly. Sorry, this is a color I like. Mm. <gasps> wow, so look at that. That's so cool. So there, like you get a full runner for the green and the cream, the, the cream so you can really oh, change it Oh, that's really fun. Oh, this looks so great, and I love that the frame parts are like this I, kind I of forest this, green. Yeah, green. Oh, that's really nice. And, and like, I don't even want to paint something like this. Mm. You know, just like, just straight out of the box, it looks so great. Uh, looks, looks really, really yeah, cool. I actually want to paint a kit like with that inner frame color. Oh yeah, dude, paint it, colored inner frames are all the win. Mm. Um, Ooh, yes. Nice. So we got some Who's, demon hunter um, stuff. Is, is this a personalized version of uh, Charmander? <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is human mode Charmander. Um, <laughs> Kyojiro, or Kyojiro, and uh, yeah guys, we've had, uh, I can never remember the damn character's name, it's actually pretty bad. We had the green one before. <laughs> Look at this effect, man. Look oh, at this cape. What? It's, it's all bad. printed on. Yeah. 
Oh, that's uh, that's really crazy. It's on fire, and then everything here has kind of got like a pre-coloring to it. Yeah, it's pre-molded in a different. Hey, look at that. So it's like it's buying nice. a premium figure. You just put it together. Mm. You know, like a premium statue. Sure. Even the eyes. So yeah. it's all pre pre-printed. Go Bandai on that sure. one. It's really, really amazing. Hey? Super fun and exciting oh, so shiny you, you stickers. You get some stickers. Um, mm. what, what is that? It, what's that? Is that? Oh, that's full of sword, isn't it? Oh, okay. cool. Uh, I, yeah, it's all taped up, so I don't, yeah, don't want to like take it out. Here. <laughs> yeah. cool. Just now we get into it. We make somebody upset. They're going to be like, you guys manhandled my sword. Very cool. That's a lot of effort into like a, a like figure type molecule. Yeah, well, I think they're definitely trying to create sort of a... Um, a cheaper way to get into these figures because you know guys these kind of figures if you buy them they can be kind of pricey mm. and especially they require like, especially like Kotobuki a high-end uh, figure figurines yeah man yeah. and you need that you need that dedication with your wallet so mm. then Ultraman 7.3 oh, the cool. fully armed you've and built this uh, well you built the Ultraman him yeah I just haven't built his with the weapons yet yeah mm. this is a great kit one or two like seams that like I could live without, but mm -hmm. with the way the texture is done on the kit, you can get away with not sure, having to I, fix I really dig all the weapons that it comes with. Yeah, man, it's it's got some boss weapons, but look how shiny the stuff is. Mm. Very much like this is a molded silver. And the sword is so dainty, guys. Please be careful when you cut this off the runner. Hmm. Like that is very scary. That's giving me. I think I just want to double check because from, the, from uh, what I've seen is scared. this kit comes with the LED included. Oh my word, that's what. Uh, apparently. Oh, there, 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 there. There it is. So yeah. it includes the LED. That's why this kit is like slightly higher priced. Oh, yeah. Not, it doesn't not only have... because of all the weapons it comes with, but because of the LED unit. LED unit, yeah. Oh, that's cool. But it doesn't have the ab crunch. So that's something just to be hmm. aware of. Yeah, it doesn't have the same possibility to, uh, to make the LEDs work. Ah, oh, you know, you win some, you lose some. <laughs> Personally, um, the non ab crunch. Looks fine, yeah. and the possibility. Generally, with these um, uh, type of kits, like the hero stones, is is very good. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And we got Rashida back in. Yay! Yay. So all of those more thirty minute sisters coming. More, in. yeah, thirty minute waifus. Yes. <laughs> or in some yeah. cases, yeah, yeah. Min uh, thirty minute uh, mothers. <laughs> and uh, the, yeah, the 30 minute mothers are worried about them. And uh, Jeff and I were talking about advanced of Zeta stuff. There's actually been a lot of advanced of Zeta chat on the Discord mm. recently. Yeah, get plant. Yeah. Right. So I, I'm so, I'm actually surprised we got this again. Sorry, Jeff. <laughs> I'm just wow. Yeah, I, I'm just really grateful that the older um, advance of Zeta stuff are not premium bundle. So yeah. yeah. I was so worried that this was gonna go that route. Oh, look, it's Ecopla as well. Hey, nice. Yeah, guys, this is a an outstanding kit. It really, really is. Mm. And the fact that it comes with that gun, because mm -hmm. uh, that gun used to be sold as a as a special item Back with the uh, Hobby Japan, Japan, with Dengeki Hobby, mm. yeah. Mm. So if you have the, the normal one, you can actually hook up that gun to the normal. And speaking of which, uh, the magazine Dengeki Hobby, is that why a lot of the uh, new releases are premium bundle? Is yes, it yeah, because of the licensing. I believe it's because of the licensing, mm. yeah. Um, and then we got Jester's back in. Yay! Yay! Jester is best. Just in time for uh, marching on. Yeah. The um, uh, month of building grunts. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. we've got the what's it? Mass produced march. Mass so, produced yeah. march. Yeah. Guys, show uh, guys in the Discord. Show your love for all the grunt suits. Hey? And also, grunt suits, mass by the way, suits. gun tanks are also mass produced units. Mm -hmm. Guys, I built this kit. I built it really quickly. It is really fun. Mm -hmm. uh, for an old, old, old Bandai HG, it's still pretty damn solid. Mm. Hey. Well, yeah. gun tank is not that complicated. It's not the most complicated yeah. thing, yeah. Science, so. To be fair, yeah. <laughs> um, then, cool. yeah, probably one of the coolest looking like kits from Superman. the Rewise series. <laughs> yeah, Gundam, Superman. Gundam Superman. Uh, the the Tri Age <laughs> Magnum. Yeah, like I don't. I'm always tempted by this. Hmm. There's something about this that just really speaks to me, and I generally don't like age designs. So mm -hmm. take that for what you will. Hmm. But uh, if you can't get enough. Rerise, or you already have Magnum. We got this bad boy in oh, the GP I, I, Rasa I love the design of this. It's so wild. It's <laughs> it's insane. I love these like jewel arm um, jobbies that it's got all these mm. things. These like claw things. I don't know what the hell, but it's fun. It's a lot of fun. And can I, I just want to? I want to open it. Yeah, I want to look inside. That's always the fun part. It's like, <laughs> oh look at that purple! Sure. Oh man, this is so great. Oh wow, look at those blades. I, I love the effect parts of mm. these blades. 
Those are very cool. Okay, so they put a lot of effort into this kit, eh? Yeah, lots of separation. Because obviously, um, a lot of these build divers uh, kits, they're kind of recycled from older kits mm -hmm. with the, like some new parts. But it really seems like they engineered some a lot of new parts and a lot of luck into this. I wonder if it means that we might see a a new GPO2 in the future. Mm. I, I wonder, wonder. It, the body is the old GPO2, like mm -hmm. the internal uh, structure. So yeah, I'd be curious to see. I must actually have a proper look on Dalong. I like that the head looks a little bit like Visago. I was thinking yeah. um, Master Gundam. So yes, it also has a bit of that vibe now that hmm. you mention it. Hmm. Um, okay, so I know Unblooded Orphan's a little bit old now. It's not much <laughs> from Mercury or anything. But well, we got people, the people options. Still screaming about like all the Unblooded. Oh yeah, no, IBO is great. <laughs> so this option set is mostly, in my humble opinion, to dress up the Man Rody kit. So if you've ever had a Man Rody. Yeah, so they're the, the two Landman roadies, mm -hmm. and then I think you take, I can never remember the name from this, uh, but it's this suit, it's kind of mm. like a grace, mm. but you can put on the different heads, and you can give it the shields, um, but honestly you can actually just mix and match. I, I think the coolest stuff. thing is actually just these two guns, because they you can use them cool. for any other kits in the, in the Yeah, so game, if so. you if you get the um, the full, the Gujon full city. Full shitty. The full shitty Gujon, <laughs> then you get two of the guns. So this is yeah. to get the additional two. Mm. Although, guys, you heard it here, but I really don't like that kit. I love the design, but the kit's execution is terrible. But here yeah, we go. The guns you can, look really cool. And you can also use some of that what stuff. The, what the hell's going yeah, on? Yeah, the boosters on the back for the Barbatos. Yeah, that is like a thing. <laughs> okay. Man Rody, on the other hand, is a really, really fun kit. Mm. A little bit too quick, but fun. We've got more Mirasol flight units because I think we saw that, mm -hmm. which is nice. Um, and before I get to, you know, witches that ride Gundams, um, Ale Striker RG, back in. Yep, we know you're out there, you seed fans. And then from Strike, our Lord and Savior, no, Kiba Yamato. No, no, no freedom, but we jump to the Justice. Justice. So yeah, this is our first time getting the uh, RG Justice Gundam. So cool. Really cool. Love so all cool. the details on it. Also, you're, you're going to get that sexy pink color that you can expect mm -hmm. from, from the Justice. Guys, this is a still a slightly early RG kit. So yeah, you have got the full inner frame for the legs and the feet and yeah. stuff. It's literally the same one they use for the RX-78 and for the Strike. It's not the end of the world. Mm. But um, actually, I know a lot of people make a lot of noise about it online. But honestly, if you don't paint your kits, those frames are not a concern. Mm. Just put them in some warm water, flex them up. There you go. That's like the best thing I can, uh, the best advice I can give you for that. Ooh. And on the topic of real grades, mm -hmm. one of my absolute favorite real one grades. One of the best. And one of the absolute best is the Jiyong. Like one of the biggest ones, right? One of the biggest, yeah, definitely. Mm. Well, nice. uh, it doesn't well, have legs. Yeah, so. it doesn't have legs, but if it did, it'd <laughs> but, be like a sticker It's got box. like huge, much bigger parts, like big arms and just big head and all that. Yeah. And it's just, yeah, it's just big. But now, we're from Mercury. So, you guys have seen hey, the Delanza. We have we have another Grand Suit in. So, here's the uh, Lauders uh, Delanza, which mm -hmm. is cool. It's more the mass produced. Did you say Louds Delanza? Louders, yeah. Louders, yeah. It's Loud Lungs. But it's also probably Louds one <laughs> as well, to be fair. He was actually uh, Loud Lungs was on stream yesterday, and he was talking about like painting one of these Delanzas to to have his color kind of scheme. Yeah, dude, you like should totally do that. Stuff. Please do that, loud. That would be so cool. But yeah, this is really, really awesome. If you guys go back a few videos, you'll see mm. my comments on this. Really stunning. Mm. Big uh, chopper there. Love those shields. Yeah. Just awesome. nice that you've got the conf like choice of the uh, two configurations. Exactly right. Yeah. And oh, Big Wapente. It's the um, uh, harem suit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, Jeff. They even show you in the back. Okay. Oh, it's not all five. There's five of them, right? Yeah. Do they show you the characters? They show yeah, you they quite really, a few. Yeah, there they the are. Harem. It's not focused. And he means yeah. harem, not like harem. But uh, <laughs> yeah, it's not harem things here. It's just harem. Anyway, um, so guys, I'll level with you. This is pretty much a big war bow without the back piece. It's got a different back piece, as you can see, yeah, not on the side. <laughs> There's a different like gun, uh, I think even... The gun? Okay, the head is different. The head has got a different design, but it's yeah. pretty much, it's, I would say it's like 90% big war bow, mm -hmm. and the other 10% is the new gun, the new backpack, and but the, look, the shield. The, the, the key feature is the shield. Is the shield, and the shield is great. If you guys have checked out Zach Aurelius's review, it looks like a lot of fun. Hmm. Um, 
also a really great candidate for like metallic silver or metallic purple and, and all that although i should just really walk away because i like to <laughs> i don't i don't love the big one pente i'll be like full yeah. disclosure but like when i think about how i can paint it it makes me start liking it mm -hmm. so guys in not a more seed mm -hmm. Um, in Infinite Justice. So these guys never really hang around in the shop long enough. Uh -huh. We get them in, I go, oh, I want to get one, and then they're gone. <laughs> um, so Infinite Justice Gundam's back in on Master Grade. Oh, yes. And you guys know how I feel about F91. I think it's pretty much uh, academic by now. Mm -hmm. And of course, the Wing Gundam. Yes. Proto Zero, hmm. which is a beautiful kit. All the fun to be had with this kit. And the transformation mode doesn't actually look like a bird that's stuck in a yeah. net. Just, just don't look underneath. Yeah, don't look underneath. Yeah. Uh, but uh, you know, Wait, general. What is that? What is this? It says strike freedom. Just, just, it's just a strike freedom. Okay. Well, but uh, let me. And then, then nothing. But, yeah, and then nothing <laughs> crazy about it. Yeah. <laughs> Yay! Yay! We got another oh, super shiny that, master grade extreme. It's a good thing I've got this uh, torch uh, light on. Shh, 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 look at that gold uh, embossed. Mmm. Mm. That, that's it's why the, that's, that's why the price is so expensive because the, because, because of the, the printing on the box. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Gold leaf. Yeah. This new er era. So yeah. guys, we so got we, that. We, we've talked about it before, but yeah, that's a very like sought after um, masterwear kit. And let's um let's like let's not dash your hopes or create any false hope. Mm -hmm. That's already been pre-ordered. Somebody mm. pre-ordered that. So I'm sorry, it's not available yet. Hmm. But, but uh, we will get them back. But we will get them back in. So just make sure your name is on our list if you hmm. want one. Um, Sandrock Master Grade, so good. Mm -hmm. As well as Torgi's Master Grade, Yay. also so good. <laughs> so 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 good. I was watching Loud Stream last night building the Torgi's. It's yeah, cool, he, hey. We started it. Yeah, the legs <laughs> looks really really cool. The gun mechanism. Yeah, the legs are great, and I like the gun mechanism yeah. as well. It's a, it's a simple design, but it's such a like. It's, it's effective. It doesn't need to be anything like out there. You know, yeah. Like I love how it looks like a like a Spartan. Mm. When I first saw this long ago, when I was like a little kiddo, mm -hmm. like a teenager fish, um, I always thought that this looked like a Spartan to me. So mm. yeah, I think that's that. totally what they what yeah, they're like, going for. Yeah, intention, yeah. And one of the coolest oh, master grades. Is one of Ooh. the top like master grades. Gundam yes. GM uh, Sniper. I also went one myself. Oh, it's such a good kit. I can't GM wait till you get your own too. one. It's so good. Hey? The it's not just because of the box art is so awesome. Oh no, yeah. the box art is so show awesome. Show around, show inside. Let's check. Uh, so there's there's just the, the standard. Oh look, it's my ass. Oh look, it's my front. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Um, this is a simple kit that just has. It's like the Zaku 2. It's just got a lot going on behind the, behind there, and uh, I kind of would like them to do a GM version two based on a lot of this. So. Yeah, but check out the possibility. I mean, you can nice. get it on one knee without it being wobbly. Yeah. It can rifle it, its gun properly. From what I know, it's like the, the internal skeleton. They were using a lot of the parts from the Gundam um, Arc 78 2 Gundam version 2.0s in the frame. Yes. A lot of it. They did change a few things apparently just to give it more possibility. Is it, uh, is it the three, two or the three? It's one of them. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it's the two. Mm. But the detail of the frame is really, really up there. Mm. Like, I know that the two goes for an anime aesthetic, but. Mm. But oh. the end of frame, like, you know, even though after 10 years, it still holds up, eh? Oh, no, it's totally. But guys, yeah, this is awesome. It's a really, really great kit. The only sad thing about the Master Grade is that, as you can see, you don't get the little buddy. <laughs> like buddy? You, um, on the on the HG, you get the oh, little yeah, yeah, dude, yeah, 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 the uh, little walker. The, one of the worker things. Yeah. Yes, yeah, you don't get that. But you know what, it's fine. Ah, you know. doesn't matter, because you get a shield. You get, mm -hmm. um, the shield's got the standing mount. Mm -hmm. You got the sniper rifle, and you got the, the bullpup machine gun. You're good. I, I really like how like you can mount all the magazines and the beam sabers. Everything on the in that shield. shield. Yeah. Oh, I love the shield. Mm. The GM shield too. So basically, two. like you can have a shield popped up, hide behind it, and then you know. Yeah, you can take cover behind it, which is mm. so good. So yeah, guys, it's awesome. Just, oh oh yeah, let's let's show you and, and guys prepare yourselves <laughs> because the blue on this is sexy. Because you've got one. I've got one. I bought one when they came out. Okay. No no, it's built. I should actually bring it to a build meet one day so you guys can see it. Look at that blue, it's so pretty. Mm. It looks like bubblegum milkshake. It's a bit brighter because of the light. The super light, there's the gun. And let's go through the frames. Frame. 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 Yeah, so lots of like Some armor. frames. But yeah, that just shows you it's, it's a very solid build because of it in the frame. And a uh, bit of a spoiler alert, we are getting a very cool set of decals 
in a couple of months time when they get released. Mm -hmm. It's the um, side story, MS side story decals. Hmm. And they got the thoroughbred decals and stuff, which you can totally use oh, on this. Yeah. Because this is just like from 8th Mobile Suit Team. Hmm. Um, um, is it a war? Is it? Well, is yeah, it sorry, War in the Pocket, pocket. yes. It's yeah. War in the Pocket that this is from. But it's like features only a few seconds. Yeah, it's like a whole <laughs> three seconds. But where this kit actually, this design is really popular, is from mm. the games. Mm. Um, this is on the cover of that one Gundam game on PS2 that I absolutely love, which is, um, doesn't matter. Mm. I'll post it maybe in the comments, I don't know. Um, but there you work with the, uh, the thoroughbred, uh, thoroughbred unit which mm -hmm. is like one of the elite uh, efsf units mm. and yeah those decals are coming and then also mm. i think what's the other one the phantom is it phantom brigade or phantom pain mm. or something like that or whatever yeah. anyway there's a squad that is in those decals so i'm excited about that um cool. guys it's double o quanta what yeah. can i say mm. we say a lot about this kit it always comes back in stock because it keeps selling so <laughs> yay we love you double it is quanta. a good design it's a good design yeah. I Personally, I just don't. I'm not don't a huge you fan of the movie, love but, these yeah, stats? Really cool. Don't <laughs> you love these stats? Yeah. So more so stuff good. to display your kits. So we've got yes. um, the system base. Chunky, chunky. Yeah, course. I've got this one. It's really cool. I need to get one of these one day, really for reals, because mm. yeah, this they're, kind of it's they're so really nice. ideal for your HG kits. Yeah. Oh, there. So it's not like master grade no, no, size. No, no. Oh, so it's one forty four. There it says. It says one forty four. You Gaijin. <laughs> cool, thank you. Thank you, Japan. Um, yeah, dude, I need to get one of these. Cause, but look, yeah. if you've got like a smaller master grid, like an F91 or something, I'm sure the head would just, you know, yeah. you can make it work. I can make it work. Mm. Yeah, cool. But these are rad. I'm yeah. glad we got these back in. We've got, uh, you know, the, the truss base from 30 minutes of emissions, or you can use it from, for whatever you as can well. Use, yeah, and that's, well, it's... Uh, it's like it is in the box it's mm -hmm. trust based but don't they add like a few little uh, yeah there's everything that's inside yeah, just so, so you can combine them together yeah so you can make something really really awesome with and this then, and then if you want some really classy way to display your kits the mr turntable <laughs> yeah just don't do that you'll break it <laughs> yeah don't do what you're doing <laughs> yeah so so i've got one of these really really cool and especially with the mirror at the bottom it's like if you have a light at the top the mirror at the bottom will help it balance. You can see yourself looking at your kit, looking <laughs> at yourself. It's, it's cyclical. Now, anyway. Now back at me. <laughs> back, at, back, at, back at your man. <laughs> you sound a horse? No, I can't remember that, that old spice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway. Okay, so we're at the tail end of the video now. So. Forest Aries. Yeah, just to sign off with a few uh, 30 minutes mission stuff. So yeah, Forest Aries 01. There are some of you out there who really like this design. Mm. Uh, I really like that much of the design. Oh, you don't like the head? I the really chest. don't like the head in the chest. <laughs> it's it's the green here, but it throw, it just throws me off a little. But hey, you know, like I said, guys, don't limit yourselves. Mm. Uh, I think the body parts and stuff of the Forestry are good. I love mm. the proportions of the Forestry kit. Yeah. It looks like powered armor. Mm. It really looks cool because they're shorter than the normal um, seal novas, port novas. Yeah. But I think the proportion just. I think it's just. I don't know. I like them, they're chunkier, they really feel cool. more human. Mm. Yeah, mm. they're more human, I, I dig that. So if you put a 30 minute uh, sister's head on there, it looks a little bit more natural than putting it on a mech, mm -hmm. on a mech body, on the Alto, for example. Okay. Um, but yeah, anyway, so we got those in. Yeah. On the topic of 30 minute, 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 30 minute, minute, minutes, <laughs> we got the wire set. Um, it's a customized material, it's pipe parts and multi-joint. So it's those fabric uh, pipes? Yes. Yeah, sometimes you see them in master grade kits and yeah. And some motorbike kits. But yeah, guys, really cool. you can this is the first prize. This is what you want. Hmm. This is the cool stuff. Because this is one thing that I, fi I find as uh, with having built my 30 minute mission stuff. It's like, you, you really need lots of holes and you want to you wanna peg things onto things. There's lots of holes, but there aren't a lot of pegs hmm. for things. So it's nice to have these parts. It really does make all the difference. And I think, yeah, and then you guys can see the layout there. It's just. Um, uh, two thick pipes, mm -hmm. four thin pipes. I don't know if it's two thick it's, pipes in total. The, the, the thin ones are like those wires. Yes. Yeah. And as you guys can see, you can go like really ape <clears> with them. <throat> I would have loved to have added some wires to my build, but a little too late, unfortunately. <clears throat> and we got some eyes. Cool. Yay! So these are like 3D stickers. Yeah. What do I call it? Uh, cool? It's customized material 3D lens stickers. Ah, yeah. Cool. And they got little details in, like little crosshairs mm. and little like thingies whatever's um and they're four mils uh four <coughs> mils and five mils 
So sure, seeing these really um, brings back memories when I built the HG scale one to one hundred mm. uh, in the Swartz kits. Oh yeah, uh, to do the yeah, middle. Yeah, like the, the the wing Gundam had like a gem in the in the chest. So um, I think I showed the guys at a build meet once, but I got something similar to this for the exactly that for my real grade wing kits because I got all three of the real grade oh, wings. Cool. It's the um, shiny, shiny stickers. stickers yeah, stickers. customized material, 3D, 3D metallic. metallic stickers. Ooh, <laughs> cool. Yeah. And yeah, so the whole idea of these is that they're meant to look like they're actually painted, hmm. which is actually kind of the idea of all foil stickers. But these ones, they're like legit about it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, and uh, then you see them in the uh, introduced in the perfect grade. Uh, yes. Uh, Unleashed RX seventy eight two. That is correct. Yeah. And even in the. Um, NG Extract Freedom. You also That's get right, these, uh, and I think I think I saw something like that for the uh, Legion Maru as well, hey? Hmm. Yeah, okay. uh, it's also got stickers like that. And then, ooh, decals. Ooh, decals. You customize your kids. Oh, New Gundam. New RG. Is it not V Gundam? It's not V Gundam. <laughs> <laughs> it's RG. So, yeah, these are the real grade Gundam uh, decals. You can use them for mm -hmm. your entry grade, you can use them for the HG, you can use them for whatever the hell you want. But mm. these are designed for the new Gundam. Yeah. These you, you are can't, designed you for... You can't have a new without the Sazabi. Sazabi. Yes, and these are great because, yeah. yeah, the stickers on this... The stickers make this kit look really rotten. Mm. So just get the decals, guys. Mm. They, it looks much better. Yeah, like, I think that goes for any, like, RG or MG kits. Water slide decals just do them justice. Just, you know, take the time. Listen, we don't want to judge. I mean, if you don't want to do water slide decals, go for it. And if you're happy with how the stickers look, Power to you, because ultimately you're the one who has to stare at it all the time. Hmm. Um, I just, I, I just say the stickers for my lighters and my phones. <laughs> so um, that said, though, I personally haven't used any of these white design elements on my SSB because I just feel it's like a little bit too much, too much. for me. Hmm. But other people may differ. In fact, like, I am know, the dissenting whatever opinion. Whatever you don't use, you can always use them on the other kits in future. You know exactly. Yeah. And now we've got part separators. Yay! Yay final thing. <laughs> So, guys, the whole point of this is that you can release parts, you split them apart like that. Mm -hmm. Also, if you put them into a human being, I'm sure you can also split their parts. <laughs> um, I'm joking. But yeah, the whole point of this is to help you split parts, you know, for when you make a mistake. Yeah. Uh, with body yeah, caps, etc. disassembling for painting or, you know. All that good fun stuff. So, we got that in. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, that is everything mm -hmm. for the last bit of this um, supply. Yeah. <laughs> And um, we hope that you enjoyed it. We hope that you're excited about it. There are some choice kits here. Mm. I'm going to be very, very sad if Which I see the... Which is your top three. Oh, and I was just about to say, I'm going to be very, very sad if I see... Oh, is it Gespence? Like a, a Gespence? <laughs> if I see the Gespence disappear, I'm going to be a little bit sad faced, but also happy that it's going to a good home. Mm -hmm. uh, the Regin Leaf? Hmm. Yeah, it's such a... It's so creepy. Like, but it's, it looks like a really fun build, and that's what my whole thing is. I really mm. want to build something that's like interesting and non Gundam. So, that's the great thing about this kind of kit, guys, is it's not like a normal humanoid structure, mm. and that's always fun and interesting to build. So, it's those two so far, and uh, guys, I'm sorry to sound absolutely predictable here, uh -huh. but I am ah, very happy that damn, we got. I, I wanted to grab that. So, now you guys know <laughs> that this is the Paul and Jeff choice from uh -huh. this drop, or from yeah. this um, shipment. And uh, yeah, like this is an amazing, amazing kit. And mm. I'm so glad that Gunplay SA has finally got one of these. <laughs> so yeah, those are my, those are my topics. Jess, what are yours? Uh, yeah, so like I said, I wanted to pick the um, GM Striker. Sniper, yeah. um, I mean, sniper. so not Strikers, I mean Sniper too. Yeah, so the other two will be uh, Juggernaut. Is it Juggernaut or Juggernaut? Juggernaut, yeah. Juggernaut, yeah. yeah. This, I, I just, again, it's so refreshing to see, you know, when we build too many Gundams, it's always nice to see some other non-Gundam stuff. So yeah, this is pretty cool. The Tomotu, I love this green. Yeah, Jeff, you're into those, eh? yeah. Me too, cool. I love, and it's so cyberpunk. It's such a, it's mm. such a future retro color, I love it. Yeah, yeah. And let me see, let me see if I can pick one more. Uh, but I really can't think of, because yeah, that's just, the GM uh, Sniper 2, man, it's just, you can't beat that. Well, also, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not going to pick Strike Freedom, because that, that's just top tier, you know, it's, it's a no-brainer. Yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> but it's probably Jester. You know, Jester? I, I, I built the uh, MG Jester, but I know the, the, the HG is also very solid. The detail is yeah. very solid, it's just mm. a, a few seams. Again, I, you know, for me personally, I just prefer the grunt designs, you know, like, 
but you can see from the Jester and also the GM Sniper 2, they're more like realistic. And yes. that's, that's my kind of vibe. What I also love about them is they give you a lot more freedom. You know, mm. when you get a Gundam kit, at least you can't, how I you can't abs like personalize it as much. Yeah, and mm. I and I have trouble abstracting it. Like mm. I look at a wing Gundam in white and red and yellow and blue, and mm. I don't, I can't get my brain away from that mm. so easily. But the grunt suits I go in, and, and like we were saying earlier in the video, Loud wants to do a custom version of this yeah. uh, the Louder's Delanza. So. You know, that's the thing. You can mm. really imbue a lot of personality, a lot of your own personality on mm. grunt suits, and they're more expressive in that respect. So yeah, yeah. totally. Okay, so, so the end of a video, guys. <laughs> so before I slam an awesome kid into the camera, I mm -hmm. just wanted to say, firstly, thank you to everybody who entered the 30-minute missions competition and the Gundam Artifact competition. Mm -hmm. You guys are awesome. That bravery is much respected. Mm. Go you, because the hardest part is entering the competition. Yeah. Secondly, um, just uh, and I and I did put this on the Discord, but in case you're not on the Discord, just some words of affirmation. Mm. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. Yeah, just have fun with it. Just guys. have fun with it. Enjoy the bolt. Mm. Finish it. You know, a finished piece is better than having a perfect piece yeah. more often than not, because you'll have more finished pieces than perfect pieces. Yeah. They just happen organically. Okay, it looks better than you think it does. Trust me. Mm. You might think you seeing all the faults. We might not even see it when we're judging it. It probably looks better than you think it does. Yeah. And guys, remember, the real prize is finishing the kit. Hmm. Okay? And just having fun, just having with, fun the with it. Yeah. Exactly. Like even myself, like even though I'm not entering for the comp, like you know, uh, I'm participating in spirit, hmm. and I notice, oh, you know, I assembled the kit too soon, and it's like, oh, the paint is chipping at certain joints. But you know what? I, it's like, okay, big mistakes, move, right? Move on with it. You know. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah, yeah. we're really excited to see all your entries. And that's what I wanted to get at. We're just excited to see all the cool entries because yes. we know you guys worked hard on them. Mm. And we know you put a lot of heart and soul into it. And yeah, so go you because mm -hmm. it's because of you that the Bolt Force is awesome. Mm. And cool. that said, now I'm going to slam the yes. dispense into the kit. So guys, yeah. remember to keep building and painting and all that.